lying on the ground, um, <coughs> focused on me and said, you realize, Eric, you're going to go home and watch this once, and you're never going to watch any of this tape ever again. I watch it. I have to masturbate to something. <laughs> I'm a mushroom collar, motherfucker, motherfucker. Every time my fingers touch brain, I'm super fly TNT. I'm the guns that never roll. What am I doing in the back for? You're the one who should be on brain detail. We're switching. I'm cleaning the windows. You're picking up this nigga's skull. Be like the meaning of life. Huh. The Australian meaning of life, though. It's about love and it's about <laughs> generosity of spirit. It's about compassion. I think it's about. This is me doing Yiddish. Romanya, 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 giving them all a let's see to shine. Never Romanya, 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 giving them all a let's see to find. Dots of boy in it, suck for vain. Posta sat at squats against the grain. A mammalia, a postal milia, a crack and slily. A nugget in your fine. That's great. Now, what we want is um, can you give us a Uruguayan accent? Uh, you're a man, 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 when did Frank say he'd be back with the whips? Just stay right there, you fucker, and then please, God, wake up and ask who's been running things. And then you make up. No, no way. He wants to. We get the same on He offers me money and I just go, fuck you. Watching a simple suicide, Dad. You've disgraced me, I'm going home. That's why you're doing this. It's not a good reason, Robbie. You just it's like the worst you. angle. You ever. didn't say it had to be good. You don't get it, do you? No, I don't. It has to be this. Why? Because of what I'm going to have to tell Sam when he asks how we met. <laughs> Jesus, Robbie, that has nothing to do with well, this. Well, Sam, I met your brother. And just I... tell him we met on a plane. Your brother? No, Sam, I met your mother on a plane. Just tell him we met on a plane. Well, Sam, I met your mother on a flight to New York. I just found out that you were there. I have to know something. I'm going to have to do a week. I'm going to have to do a <laughs> well, uh, great. I guess I'd better go and get ready then, quickly. Well, uh, I'll be the guy in the front of the church in the... Uh, this morning. I'm soon, huh, Felgen? No, Felgen. <laughs> it is Felgen. Today you're about to witness some of the most... Uh, the greatest examples of Australian acting. But perhaps you're going to witness some of the greatest examples of, of Australian theatre that we could possibly bring. And I, I think you should take this back, along with the Betty Williams video, and just to show all, all your friends how, it's, how it should be done. In, in, you know, in theatre, because I know that you guys waste time with truth and truth and, and, and in dynamic and, and all that bullshit, and it doesn't work. What we need to see is long pauses, people not talking to each other, and basically atrocious scenes. Now you watch. We want for something special. Come on. Josh and I will. See the dynamic. <laughs> Now these guys aren't even in a scene together, but, but it works. Do you see that? Oh, you Americans can only dream. Now these guys, these guys actually hate each other. But see how they're working? 
you need to get some more of that. It's hard to really find where is a good place to have a nap because you've got to find that right sound and it's got to look like the place. You know, it's got to look like I'm, I'm, I'm He's drunk. Her Forget about it. <laughs> now, these guys tried to work together, but they couldn't come up with anything that was any good. And, and, and that, that, I think, is the essence of drama. When you think about that back in your, you know, Namby Pamby truth realism world of fucking America. GI. Do you want some of this? Michael and Natasha are actually, English is their second language. And the important thing is Albanian and uh, Marrakesh. But do you notice the way that they shape the words that they actually don't even know what they mean and make it sound like English? So he didn't even know what that meant. See, it makes me look like I'm acting. Hello, America. So dangerous. Hello, America. GI. Hey, GI. One dollar. One dollar. Oh, do you want to look at this? And then we had bum sex. Jason's an exchange student. He's with us from America. Get in the way clean. Oh, Marty. Oh. Marty, how'd you do it? He, actually, no one knows why he's here, it? which is very interesting. We're doing a thing here. Oh, very good. Oh, Marty. I write at the English he, drama school. He loves what we do. Marty. This is crazy. I write at the school. You like the school? Marty, let go of my bread. Yeah, we some pennies. Marty, how'd you do it? How'd you do it, Marty? Hey, Marty, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> These guys here are the embodiment of what you really need to take back with you. Uh, Nick, who is, a, is an actor, singer, dancer, uh, brings with him uh, a certain finesse and style which I think you Americans lack. Kathy's in the same boat. And oh my God, it's just, you know, it's, it's like this every day, you know. And this is our disabled friend. See? We accept everyone here. And this is what you Americans in your, you know, politically correct. See, he's pretending to be spicy. He's acting. Do you have friends Do you have friends who have sex with other men? Think so? Yes. <laughs> Just breathe it in. Breathe in the space. Breathe it in. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he's an idiot. He's got that on a very close macro. I do, it's macro. Huh. Stress. <laughs> Tony, you look a lot like a really, really close up. You look like um, Peter Allen. I know. <laughs> <laughs>